Hi, Phil Weiss from Price Wealth Management here with a video overview of this week's blog, 11 Things to Consider if You've Inherited an IRA. This is an update of a blog that I wrote over a year ago, which was 10 things to consider. I've added an 11th, and it's an important one because things have changed. It's also a popular topic because earlier this year, the IRS put out proposed regulations that changed how people viewed and what people expected in terms of taking money out of their inherited IRAs. What are the 11 things? The first one, just consider your options. Make sure you get the account set up right. Make sure you know what you want to do. Don't move too fast because if you make a wrong move, it can be costly. Second, you want to find out if any distributions were taken from the person that transferred the inherited IRA to you before their death. Why? Because it matters. Those distributions, if they didn't take those distributions, you have to take them on their behalf. If they did, you don't have to worry about it. Third, you can move your account. You don't have to leave it where it is. Four, I know Roth conversions are a popular topic, but you can't do a Roth conversion if you have a Roth IRA, if you have an inherited IRA. Fifth, distributions must be taken over a certain time period. If you have a newly inherited IRA or anyone that's inherited after 2020, in 2020 or later, you have 10 years. Before that, it was your life expectancy. Now, here's the, the big change. You most likely are going to have to take required minimum distributions. The original thinking was that you could even wait till year 10 to take the full balance. Not according to the proposed regs. The rules aren't finalized, so you don't want to be too hasty. But it's likely that you're going to have to take some type of distribution from an inherited IRA for each of the 10 years. Next, you can make a qualified charitable distribution from an inherited IRA if you're 70 and a half or more. And that's important to know because that's a very tax efficient way to make charitable contributions. There are no age related penalties here. For a regular IRA, if you're Less than 59 and a half, you have to pay a 10% penalty. It doesn't apply for an inherited IRA. What if it's a Roth IRA? That's a little bit different because in that case, you still have 10 years to clean out the account, but you don't have to take on these. You can wait till year 10 and take the full balance if you like. And last, make sure you name a beneficiary. That's really important. Hope you find this week's blog helpful. This is a complex topic. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to use that link and schedule a free call. I'll be happy to talk about it with you. Thanks for listening and have a great day.